What's up everybody and welcome to the episode of the Bubba Spade Career Mode in MotoGP 20 and after a very uh, very disappointing and and honestly catastrophic debut in MotoGP for Bubba Speed finishing I, th I don't think it was dead last I think it was 22nd out of 23 people because Bender um, wasn't able to finish the race but yes zero points were had and essentially last place was reached in his debut so that's about as bad as you can possibly do. Um, development tests were all a disaster, and things are not any better in the, this uh, this weekend in Circuit of the Americas, obviously in Austin, Texas. As you can see, we are nowhere to be seen in the first three rows, which is what the team wants. We are all the way back in 23rd, which is dead last. Um, so yeah, <laughs> not looking good. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm, I'm giving myself plenty of time to practice. Um, I'm doing, you know, a full practice session, so you're talking about an hour of practice plus, you know, 20 minutes of qualifying, etc. And I wasn't able to finish a single lap in qualifying. Um, Q1 was a complete disaster, <laughs> almost as bad as this turn one where uh, Bubba Speed takes out like four different people. <laughs> well, I guess it's a good thing, like you can't, uh, you can't finish, you know, 20 second this time, you have to finish something above that. That's all I can, that's all I can really say. Um, yeah, like I said, not a single lap was completed. In qualifying, actually, to be honest, I don't think I even got past the first sector because I just couldn't get anything going. It was just crash after crash after crash, penalty after penalty, and uh, it was a shit show. I think our best time throughout the entire um, entirety of, pr of free practice one, and obviously qualifying, which was a uh, was a disaster, was like a 209.7 or something. So about two seconds off the pace of uh, Mark Marquez, who qualified on pole. So. A complete and utter shit show so far, but hopefully, hopefully race day will be different. Um, for me personally, racing has always been easier just because I have somebody to take reference from, and I don't know, I just feel like in qualifying, people tend to be a lot faster than they are, and that, obviously that's due to tires and all that stuff, that's how it is in real life too, but I just feel like in-game in particular, people really do drop off by a second or two, or a second and a half sometimes, in terms of just their general pace throughout the entire race, so... Um, always feel more comfortable and confident come race day so that's something to keep in mind um, but yeah like the biggest thing I have to say is like at one point in qualifying as we're actually doing okay we're in 15th position um, in no sorry in practice at one point I was behind Dovizioso who was the second fastest on the track and like honestly on the straightaway it was just insane and I get the, the Desmo Sedici traditionally has a great engine and is extremely fast in, in terms of just pure power but um i don't know it was just ridiculous i mean he he probably pulled away over half a second maybe even maybe actually almost a second just on the straightaway and this one isn't even long you know we're talking about this one right here which it's actually a pretty short one so and, and you know coming out of the same drive everything and this, it was just like you know it wasn't and i was even drafting him too so or i was trying to draft him so I just feel like this bike really does have a lot of work to be uh, to be done on, and oops, almost taking out Paul Espargaro. Um, you know, a lot of work has to be put in to improve this bike, and hopefully, we uh, once we get that done, then it'll be a little bit more competitive. And I would like, if anybody knows, let me know in the comments section down below if um, come next season the upgrades we do and development tests and stuff like that carry over. If I have to start over from scratch, that would be a great help if you could let me know because I'm too lazy to research it because I'm. A I'm an idiot. Anyway, we're in a battle right now with our teammate, Paul Espargaro, who I think is probably going to be our highest uh, placed current teammate. I think Bender's probably behind us. He was probably involved in that crash um, early on. I think it was the first corner, actually, so my bad. But, you know, right now, Paul Espargaro, he has to be our main rival, I guess, because yes, they're teammates, but the minimum requirement is always beat your teammate. That's what you need. To, that's like the, that's the lowest objective you need you know what i'm saying like that's the one you have to get past you can't be you can't be uh happy with being the worst or sorry being worse than your direct teammate like it's one thing if you know if you're like on a patronus yamaha or something like that and you're worse you're behind uh vinales or rossi or something like that that's that's okay that's more or less acceptable but in this case it is definitely not acceptable especially because the team's um the team's expectations for bubba are come race day 10th a top 10 finish and in the championship top five which is uh, I think a little bit too much of an ask but we'll see if we'll see if we can actually get there hopefully uh, once we get to the European tracks hopefully we'll be a little bit more consistent a little bit better and uh, actually win a race or two that would be ideal but uh, we will see top five is still doable it's still earlier it's still really early in the season but I don't expect too much as we bump in 
to Alex Aspargaro right now in an Aspargaro sandwich, which is not something you want to be in because uh, these are two guys that they do tend to crash quite a bit. They do tend to crash people out quite a bit. So Bubba Speed is definitely in a position to where, um, well, I mean, to be fair to Bubba, like he is a monster at crashing people out too. So if there's anybody, if, there, if there's ever a trio of people that are going to kill each other, it's probably these three. As Bubba goes actually pretty deep on the brakes, bumps into pole, who crashes out? That's that's all Bubba. Like he he clearly bumped into his retire, and that's that's my fault. I'm not gonna lie, that is completely and utterly my fault. So sorry KTM, but I'm not sorry Espargaro, and most importantly, I am not sorry at all, Mr. Jopina. I know you're he's, he's one of uh, my main man Jopina's pupilo, pupilos, and uh, I do not like Espargaro. I've never have. Probably never will. Neither of the brothers really are. Uh, I'm a fan of. I don't particularly care for either one of them. Um, it's just, you know, we have to beat them. Uh, it happened. It is what it is. So fuck him and fuck Jopina. As we move on, 12th position. Um, I think in Qatar, our best, the best position we got to was 10th, and that's where we crashed out. So hopefully we can do, we can avoid crashing out here. Because at this point, with two laps left. 12th position at least guarantees us four points, which isn't bad at all. Yeah, my math, I think my math is great. That should be four points, which isn't, you know, it's not great. Um, it's not good either, but it's, better, you know, better than nothing. Um, so I would definitely basically just, like, sign on the dotted line to get a few points at this point because that would be definitely, uh, that would be a nice little satisfaction. But realistically, like, uh, as close, like, as we're, as we're going right now, I mean, we're getting faster and faster, and they are clearly getting slower. Um, and especially like this sir this third sector I've really noticed that I've gotten a lot better at it. I think this is probably the one where I gain the most. I don't know exactly what it is, but I, this is the one this is the one sector on this track that I do feel comfortable. Maybe it's because there's not like this just these huge crazy long like straightaways and then just slamming on the brakes, which is still something I'm getting used to on these MotoGP bikes is how easy it is to lose the front end. Um, I'm still trying to work on that and I just feel like maybe that's um, that's why this third sector does favor me a little bit more is just because it does feel more like a European track as in it's a little bit more technical it's you know it's it's not just point and shoot like and just look at this like you know, the, the, almost the well obviously the first sector is a lot of like, little loop de loops and stuff like that but you know I, I don't really like this first sector at all um, and like to be honest this these first two races probably aren't the best tracks to be gauging what Bubba can actually do in MotoGP because I don't like Qatar I don't like Austin once we get to Argentina, I feel like that's that's a bit better for me. I think I've won there before on this series, maybe twice actually. Um, so do have a little bit of a history of success there. Whereas in these tracks, it's just like uh, you know, not not. I don't dislike them necessarily. Um, like with a passion, like they are. They're they're far from being Sepang, or they're far from being Silverstone. But I don't I don't like them either. As Bubba gets another penalty, it's just it would it really would not be a Bubba Speed video without a penalty being uh, being gotten. As we try to get up towards Nakagami, cutting it a little bit too hard. Oh, almost crashed. There he goes. Nakagami's out. Another pupilo of Jopina. <laughs> Wiped out. Um, I'm sorry, Nakagami. That was not part of the plan. But one position gain. Um, at this point, cheating is pretty much the only way. And one thing I want to say, I do not do this stuff on purpose. If it happens, it happens. I do not do it on purpose. It's just... I am an idiot. Uh, we're, all right, we're almost about a, la a lap, a little bit over a lap left, and we are currently in 11th position, which isn't bad. We, if we can get top 10, then that's pretty much, that's pretty much enough to make me happy. Oh, and of course, Bubba Speed crashes out. Shocker. I mean, it's just, it just goes to show you, like, you make one mistake in terms of the braking, and it will cost you big time. And uh, I don't, I want to say one thing. Like another thing I've noticed in this game is that. When you crash out, and technically I have it set up to where the only damage that is done is cosmetic, so it shouldn't actually impact the performance of the bike, but I really, really feel like it does like massively impact it once you crash and then you get back up, which I'm not against, don't get me wrong, I'm not against it, that's the way it should be, but I don't know, it just seems really, it just, I don't know, it just seems to impact a lot more than only cosmetically, but um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, Bubba Speed right now, 13th position with a 0 0.206 penalty going into turn one. Has to just be be comfortable. Don't don't make any dumb decisions. Don't make any dumb mistakes. The final lap, at least get a couple of points. You know, that would be good. Three points if you finish 13th, which 
like I said, it isn't good, but it's uh, it's also not the end of the world. So it would be better. It would be a lot better than finishing with zero points like last time. Get another penalty, six point. Uh, sorry, zero point six eight, which is uh, quite a bit at this point. We have to push really hard if we want to maintain 13th position. But at the same time, who really cares? Like 13th, 14th doesn't really change too much. As we're trying to just keep ourselves on a rhythm, but you know, keeping it where we're not going too slow and we're not pushing too hard. I actually kind of jumped coming out of the corner right there, which is kind of interesting. Hard on the brakes, probably too hard. Oh, 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 gonna hit the dirt, gonna hit the dirt, gonna hit the dirt, and we crash out. <laughs> and we crash out. 14th, we're down to 15th. Nakagami is right there, so somebody that we ended up crashing out has actually passed us, so I guess that's karma. Um, Karma is indeed a bitch, um, but yeah, we deserved it. I can't deny that we deserved it, as we are now fighting with Miguel Oliveira. I think his name is Miguel. Um, for this position, okay, that's yeah, Miguel Oliveira. He crashed out. That's his fault. I wouldn't say that's Bubba's fault. I mean, we were, you know, we were clearly in front of him. He broke too late, had to slam on the brakes, and he lost the front. That's just like he. That is a typical Bubba crash performed by Mr. Miguel Oliveira. And at this point, like the gap between Bubba and whoever's in fort in 16th should be high enough to yeah, it's Espargaro, so 2.1. At this point, just have to finish the lap without making any dumb mistakes slash crashing. And Bubba should have at least a point. Which, unless somebody's way up there, should be actually the first point by any KTM rider. So I think it just kinda goes to show you like um how how messed up the KTM is right now according to the game as we have a one second penalty obviously very very disappointing I think had we not crashed we probably could have gotten 10th uh, in beating the in real life world champion Juan Mir but you know woulda coulda shoulda close only counts in horseshoes we came close to at least getting towards the top 10 it just wasn't quite enough uh, Mark Marquez's best lap was a 2.08.6 uh, so a 2.086, we had a 2.097, which is obviously over a second off of him, but if you look at the people around us, I mean, we were faster than Nakagami, faster than Zarko, faster than Banyaya. No, no, we were we were a little bit slower than Banyaya. We were faster than Valentino Rossi, who was extremely slow. Um, so realistically, with our with our best lap time, you know, we could have been a little bit higher up, but it is what it is. Marquez, un, un, you know, unsurprisingly, is top of the standings with 50 points. Dovizioso has actually finished second both times as well, so he's up to 40, um, and yeah, like, you know, the Repsol Honda are, gonna pro are probably going to dominate, and we are indeed the first team to have, uh, sorry, the first, uh, we are the, Bubba Speed is the first rider to have a point with, um, with the KTM, which is just, you know, it's kind of weird, but it is what it is, like, um, you know, Binder and Espargaro, obviously, they did well in real life, but in game, I don't think that the KTM really has a... Who knows how much potential, but we'll see what Bubba can do with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let me know in the comment section down below if you have any tips and tricks for MotoGP and if you have anything you want to say about this race, and I'll see you in the next video.